oxtail. I just washed these in vinegar and lemon juice and fresh lemon. And so I'm gonna be seasoning up now for tomorrow's dinner. So these are the seasoning that I'll be using. And of course my ginger. A little bit of these, not too much, just a little for some flavor. You don't need much because it gets burned. So hold on a second. Let me just try to do this with one hand. <laughs> some thyme in here and I just added some all-purpose um, from um, the Goya season. So this is gonna be Sunday's dinner guys. Alright, I'm gonna leave it in the fridge. So it will stay and get well marinated to be prepared tomorrow Sunday. This is Saturday and I'm preparing it. All right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow when I'm about to cook. Ciao. Hello, guys. Alrighty, so this is the day after marinating these oxtails. And I'm about to put them in the pan because I am going to be cooking them today. I'm actually doing them in the um I'm doing them in the oven. I like to do my oxtail in the oven. Most of my meat. I just put them on, cover them, leave them, and they just stay there and cook. <laughs> So I'm just getting them in the pan. Yeah, so I bought a whole oxtail and I told the guy to cut them up, how thin I want him to cut them. So he did that. He did that. My daughter requested oxtail today. They'll all fit in here. They probably won't, but I'm just gonna have to make sure that they do. So I bought a whole oxtail. This only cost me like, um, I believe it was twenty, twenty-two dollars. Yeah. I don't like to buy them. Um, well, you usually tell the guy how to cut them for you. So this is how I like them cut. I went to Costco and I seen some, they're huge. Holy crap, I might have to try one of those one day. But when I buy my oxen, I buy them whole and the butcher cuts them up for me. See, these are 
all from the tail, these little pieces here. Yeah. So everything goes in. There you go. So I'm gonna be, like I said, cover them up. Just pouring the juice from here. smells so good and it's not even cooked. <laughs> I'm going to cover them up and put them in the oven and we'll check on them in about an hour or so. All right, guys. All right, guys. So this is after an hour. What am I saying? This is after two hours of cooking my oxtail in the oven. It's, um, Pretty tender. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna season away. Gonna cut up some onions and my get my butter beans. I'm not gonna put any spinners, but hang on. Yeah, right there. Sure you are. I realize I didn't even know. Okay, guys, so I just put my butter beans in and onions, and I'm going to put these back in the oven to just, you know, cook, for, um, finish cooking off for about another, uh, say, 20 minutes, and then I will see you guys back after. All right, guys, so... There it goes, my oxtail is nearly done. Oven, baked or cooked, whatever you wanna call it, oxtails. Okay, it's coming along, my loves. Look at that. Let's taste this little piece right here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I'll see you guys back. I'm making a small pasta salad, so I'm just putting just a little bit of vegetable oil to keep my pasta sticking. Some salt. And I'm using the shell pasta. All right, so my pasta is done and I'm about to prepare this pasta salad I got um corns green onions black pepper um parsley leaves seasoning uh, sauce and I'm gonna add some mayo So I have some uh, thyme, green onions, garlic, and coconut cream here. I've already added some salt, and I'm bringing this to a boil. And I'm adding my green gungo peas, or congo peas, or pigeon peas. Everybody calls it something different. So I'm adding that in and I'm gonna, the coconut cream is boiling out and I'm gonna leave this to cook for about five minutes, then I'll be back. Yes guys, so I'm also adding some butter. It's the coconut cream, there's pieces of it in there that's still boiling out. I'm gonna 
and let this boil for, I think I'm gonna say 10 minutes, and then I'll come back and wash my rice and add it. About to wash my rice, guys. All right, so I have completed washing my rice, and I'm going to add it to my peas over here. Thank you. 